first most important thing to know is that you can absolutely get better. You know, somewhere along the line, somebody came up with this really unfortunate myth. And it said that once you have an eating disorder, you are destined to struggle with that eating disorder for the rest of your life. And you know what? It just isn't true. We know that people can and do fully recover. We see it all the time. And now there's really hopeful research that says that people, in fact, do have long-term 100% recovery. So the research that I have seen goes anywhere from 60% all the way up to 90% of people who actually live without any symptoms whatsoever and or the mindset that we know is so troubling when you have an eating disorder. So know this, know that even though you might feel desperate right now, it is really possible for you to recover. The second thing to know is that really give yourself permission to work with people that are specialists. So many times we have people come in and they have already worked with somebody sometimes over like a 10 year period of time and they've said that I really liked this person, I think this person really was well intended, but they figured that if we just worked on our underlying issues, then somehow the behavioral issues related to food and weight and eating disorder behaviors would go away on their own. And you know what, it's just simply not true. So it is really important whether you come to a new beginning or you go somewhere else, please do ask, are you an eating disorder specialist? How long have you worked in the field of eating disorders? And what percentage of your caseload are eating disorder clients? The other thing I think is really important to ask is, do you feel that you can fully recover? Personally, I think that if you are working with somebody that doesn't have hope that you're able to recover, it's really hard because a lot of times you're gonna feel a lack of hope. Um, eating disorder recovery is a really long process and oftentimes what I tell my clients is hold on to my wings of hope until you're able to internalize that hope actualize that hope and learn how to fly on your own, which you definitely will. So make sure that the person that you see is hopeful and has had some success with recovery. The other thing is we really want you to know that eating disorder recovery is not just an absence of eating disorder behaviors. Um, similar to other things, you know, you might be able to get abstinence from eating disorder behaviors for a certain period of time. But if you don't work on the underlying issues that have given rise to your eating disorder in the first place, that recovery behavior is gonna be really short-lived. And what's super important is that you develop a foundation and you re um, really resolve the issues that led to your eating disorder and you get firmly entrenched, solid emotional skills so that as you go through life, you won't ever have to fight this eating disorder urge ever again. You'll have other coping skills, which is really important. So for me, those are really the three things that I would say initially, as you're looking to find a therapist, looking to find a treatment center, I would go forward and maybe even write those questions down because you're gonna be nervous when you come in for that first time and tell people, um, you know, I just really want to be educated and I want to make sure that I feel comfortable working with the person that I'm going to journey so intimately with in my um, path of, of therapy. Okay, good luck. Believe in full recovery. It really does happen.